Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're going to show you how to care for your horse's hooves with the help of equine expert Maylin McEwen. She's a British Horse Society certified instructress and has worked in equine horse management for over 21 years. Step 1. The Benefits A well cared for hoof is vital for the prevention of lameness, joint, back and leg problems and enables your horse to move freely and comfortably. Step two, you will need an experienced farrier, a hoof pick, hoof growth treatment, a bucket of water, a water brush, and a brush and some hoof grease. Step three, check the hooves. It is thoroughly recommended that you check them at least twice daily, before and after riding. Pick up the horse's foot and using the hoof pick, remove any mud and stones. Always work from the heel to the toe, just as Malin is doing. Be careful not to dig the hoof pick into the frog, which is here. Sharp stones are uncomfortable for the horse and can cause severe bruising and lameness. And objects such as nails and glass may cause puncture wounds, which in turn can cause major infections and lameness. Similarly, if wet mud or soil bedding is left in the hoof for a long time, moist, dirty conditions may cause a fungal infection, called thrush. Step 4. Care of the hoof wall. The hoof wall controls the moisture balance. If you keep your horse in a hot, dry climate, use a dampened water brush to wash the underside of the hoof, then the outer wall. This prevents the hooves from drying out and becoming brittle. In damp, wet climates, protect the hoof by greasing the underside with hoof oil. Brush over the sole, frog, heel and the outer hoof wall. This not only gives them a neater appearance, but stop the hooves becoming too soft and weak. Step 5. Trim the horse's hooves. Using an experienced registered farrier, have your horse's hooves trimmed every six weeks. This helps to maintain good hoof balance, regulates excessive growth, and prevents the hooves from splitting and cracking. Step 6. Shoe your horse regularly if he works a lot on hard ground or the road. It is vital to have him shod every four to six weeks. This prevents excessive wear to the hoof wall and stops the horse becoming foot sore. If you do not have your horse shod on a regular basis, then his foot will grow and become unbalanced. If a shoe becomes loose or falls off, call out your farrier immediately. Step 7. Some final advice. Always make sure that your stable has clean bedding. Ask your farrier to advise you on a good hoof treatment if necessary. And grease it on the coronet band to stimulate hoof growth twice weekly. Feed your horse a balanced diet. However, be aware that overfeeding him could cause laminitis, a metabolic disorder, just as a lack of essential vitamins and minerals could cause weak hooves with poor growth. Remember the old adage, no foot, no horse. 